Well, hello, Eleanor. How are you today? Is everybody at your house getting ready for Christmas? Getting ready for Santa Claus? Yeah, trees are going up and packages are being wrapped. We're getting really busy around here too. Oh, I found this really sweet book. I, I've never seen it before, but it's not brand new. It's called Wake Up Dormouse. Santa Claus is here. And there's an old fashioned looking Santa Claus. And you know who the author of this book is? Her name is Eleanor Schmid. Eleanor, just like you, yeah. Wake up, Dormouse, Santa Claus is here. Gus lived all by himself in an old oak. Like everyone else in his family, he slept the whole day long for he was a dormouse. Every night he woke up, stretched his legs, and crept out of his nest. And then he went looking for something to eat. There he is. What's he eating? Looks like he's got a bunch of grapes, doesn't it? He needed to get round and fat so he wouldn't be hungry during his long winter sleep. He looked for fruit and mushrooms, acorns and nuts. He gnawed the sweet tree bark or hunted for insects. Whatever he couldn't finish eating, he carried back to his nest for later. Isn't he cute? Look at his long whiskers and his big, big eyes. Ooh, there he is all nestled and snug in his nest. Ooh, look at all the acorns around him. Neat. In the fall, when the nights and days grew cool, Gus would curl up in his nest like all the other dormice and sleep until spring. And so every year Gus slept through the visit from Santa Claus. He only knew of him from the stories he heard from the other animals in the forest. This year, Gus wanted to meet Santa Claus too, just for once in his life. If only he knew how to keep awake. Maybe if he ate a little less, or maybe if he napped just a little. He curled up his tail tightly around himself, laid his paws on his tummy and closed his eyes and dreamed a quick dream. What do you think he's dreaming about? <laughs> ka, ka, humans are coming shriek the crows. Oops, I've got to tilt it down so you can see it. From a branch nearby, Gus woke up suddenly. Was Santa Claus coming now? Carefully, Gus stuck his head out of his hole and opened his sleepy eyes wide. A mother was gathering branches of pine and mistletoe with her children. What did they want those for? Santa Claus wasn't there. Gus drew back into his hole in the branch. He mustn't go to sleep again now. Mustn't sleep, mustn't. Oh, I bet he fell asleep. Oh, who's that tapping on his tree? Hmm. Thur, thur, thur. Gus was startled out of his sleep. A woodpecker was boring a hole in the trunk of the tree just above his nest. The woodpecker shook his... Uh, Gus asked quickly, has Santa Claus been here yet? The woodpecker shook his head and kept on drilling. Do you know when he's coming? Gus asked. When it's cold, the woodpecker replied. Ooh, but it's cold now, Gus thought, as he crept back inside again. A few withered leaves clung to the branches, and except for the sound of the woodpecker, the forest was very, very quiet. Well, it must be fall, because I see a bunch of trees without any leaves at all, and there are only a few left on the oak trees. 
So winter must be getting closer. Oh, friends, look at that. It was nearly dark when something rustled on the ground. A squirrel ran up the tree and begged Gus for an acorn. I can't find my food, he said, and I'm hungry. Gus gave him an acorn. Have you seen Santa Claus, he asked. I don't want to miss him this time. The other animals are awake in the winter and they get to see him, but I'm always asleep and don't know when he comes. I'll call you when Santa Claus comes, said the squirrel, and he jumped down and bounded away. An owl had been perched nearby. She heard everything. Do you see the owl up there? Yep, she heard what they were talking about, Santa Claus. Gus shivered. He snuggled down into his nest again. Outside got colder and colder, and the wind whisked and tore through the dry leaves. It shook the trees, but Gus didn't wake up. Oh, oh who's that? One night, the first snow fell. The fox was lurking in the bushes. He was hungry, and suddenly he perked up his ears and sniffed. Then he saw a light at the edge of the forest. Joyfully, he sprang forward. Oh, who's carrying a light? Can you tell? It looks like Santa Claus and a donkey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's Santa. Santa Claus was trudging through the snow with his donkey. With each step, the little bells jingled softly at first and then louder and louder. The animals in the forest had been waiting for this sound. Santa Claus had come at last. As he entered the clearing in the forest, all the animals came hopping, bounding, and flying to meet him. Come, my friends, said Santa softly. I have gifts for each of you. Wow, what animals do we see? There's a bird, some birds. There's a fox, some rabbits, and a a red squirrel, that looks like a badger, and a warthog, and some deer. Oh, nice. Santa took a fat sack off of the donkey's back and opened it. He pulled out carrots, red apples, and bread. The animals came closer waiting for their food. On this moonlight winter night, no one was afraid of anyone else. Santa had brought sausage and a slab of bacon for the foxes and the birds, for the birds he had hung little bags of seed and fat on the branches and spread seed around on the ground. He gave nuts to the squirrels and cheese to the crows. The mice ran from one spot to another, nibbling everything. Oh boy, lots more animals now. I see lots of mice. I wonder if the dormouse is there. And I wonder if that's the red squirrel that he made. For oh, there's another one. Which one did he make friends with, I wonder? At last, Santa sat down wearily. Have you all had enough, he asked. Did I forget anyone? Oops, hard to see, sorry. The squirrel cocked his ears and waved his tail back and forth. He had promised someone something, but now he had forgotten what it was. Uneasily, he looked from one animal to another Somewhere in the distance, the owl hooted. Oh boy, I think the squirrel forgot. I hope the dormouse doesn't miss out on this party. Doesn't miss out on seeing Santa. Oh look, there's the owl. Look at the moon in the sky. What's happening? Woo, 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 wake up Gus, 
wake up. The owl had to call several times before Gus woke up. Come quickly, she said. Santa Claus is here. Gus, let's go. Hmm. Gus legs were, Gus's legs were stiff. He stretched and yawned. He could barely get his eyes open. How the forest had changed. The snow sparkled in the moonlight. Gus had never seen so much white. Follow me, called the owl. I'll fly along ahead of you. Gus felt as if he were in a dream as he leaped from branch to branch. Oh, look at that. Santa Claus looked up the tree and stretched his arms up to Gus. The little dormouse's heart beat wildly. He jumped. Warm hands held him and a friendly face was looking down at him. Gus, I was waiting for you. Now, here you are with me, said Santa Claus with a laugh as he stroked him gently. And then he fished in his pocket and gave him dried apples and pears and plums. Gus nibbled contentedly. He was so happy. It was very late. Santa Claus had to go on. He had a kind word for each animal as he said goodbye. One after the other, they rubbed their heads against his shoulder and let him stroke them. And then softly, the animals left the clearing. For a long time, the woods rustled, fluttered, and snapped until each animal and bird had settled into its own place again. Only Gus the Dormouse did not go home to his own nest. He had crept into Santa Claus's pocket and happily fallen asleep there. Oh, and that's the end. Oh my goodness. Gus is gonna go along with Santa, isn't he, in his pocket? I wonder if there's some more fruit in his pocket. Any, any fruit left? Well, Gus doesn't need any more, does he? He's sound asleep now. And that's the story of Wake Up Dormouse, Santa Claus is here. And now we know that the Dormouse's name is Gus. Oh, but he's not in this picture, is he? That's when Santa first arrives and Gus is still sleeping. Well, it certainly is a good thing that owl was listening in and woke Gus up because the squirrel forgot. Poor Gus would have missed Santa again. It's a pretty exciting time of year, isn't it, Eleanor? And Grandma and Grandpa are excitedly waiting for you to come and visit. You know we love you and we can't wait to see you. And you'll be here for Christmas. Yay! Bye-bye. Love you.